morning everyone. What a beautiful day. How nice is the day? Your top is matching the day. My top, well no weather actually looks like this, but I'm feeling really, really full of energy. Today I wanted to address what healthy means to me. I feel like I've gone through stages where I have changed my perception of what healthy is. Oh my god. We'll have a little chat about it. I'm gonna have breakfast first though because I can't start a day without breakfast. Also, if you do like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I think today I'm gonna have avocado on toast with some eggs. Is that original? No. But does it taste good? Yeah. And I always go through little phases like that where I just, you know, I will have the same breakfast over and over again until I decide one day, and I never know when it's gonna be, but I decide I can't look at it anymore. So I've done that with porridge. I've kind of done that with pancakes as well. Maybe it's gonna happen with avocado and toast. I don't know. We might be getting to the latter stages of my enjoyment of that breakfast. <laughs> I need another idea, guys. Oh my god, Mario's mum gave him a book of his old photos. Look how cute. Oh, so cute. Wait, I wasn't cute there. Wait, wait. You I were get, so cute. I get cuter, I get cuter. You can't focus on you. You're too cute to focus on. Oh my god. That's as cool as you're ever going to get. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's me at my peak. Those days are long gone, mate. Yes. First day of school. Oh my god, let's see. Oh my god. Wait, is that your hair or is that a hat? It's god, a hat, this camera it's a hat. cannot focus. It can't do with the hat. And that cute thing turned into that cute thing. <laughs> Del Tau San Cabana. Also, can I just say, like, your dad's quite fit. Wait, wait, there's one hot one of them. Your dad's actually quite fit. That's that's good, that's good news for me, because you know how they're like, oh look at the mother. Well I'm looking at the father. And no. I am the father. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm talking about. What? Mario, this is what you're aiming for. Is it my that's dad it. again? Absolute perfection. Get over my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could start by saying what healthy isn't to me. Healthy isn't to me like obsessing over weighing myself, obsessing over numbers, obsessing over exactly what is in my food every single meal, obsessing over how many hours I'm training or worrying about whether everything is perfect and I've got like every single nutrient in me and taking multivitamins and making sure that I'm having every superfood under the sun. Like to me, that's not what healthy is because for me it's like a combination of mental health and physical health. So I think when I was younger, I always used to worry so much about physical health and to the point where it massively impacted my mental health in a negative way. It's more about kind of my well-being and how I feel um, mentally and physically. So I have the things that make me feel good physically, so the right amount of training, the right amount of food, and that I'm feeling really happy and making sure that I'm taking time off to relax, to make sure that my mental health is good as well. And I think a lot of being healthy for me is being self-aware uh, to what my needs are. I got really stressed towards the end of last week and I decided just to take two full days off to just completely relax. And I haven't had that in a really long time and it felt amazing. I spent the whole day with my family, we played like some board games, and we watched some films and it was just, it was amazing. Honestly, I genuinely feel like a different person. And now the sun is out, Oh, it literally, it couldn't have been any more perfect. And actually there's a lot of science that shows that mental health does actually impact your physical health. If you're stressed, then you sleep less well, so physically there are studies that show that it's easier to gain weight and there are studies that show that it's easier to get injured or the amount of muscle you build. And even like studies that show that 
if you are too stressed then you don't digest properly so if you don't digest properly you're not absorbing all the nutrients from your food properly and that's also a problem so I think there's a massive massive interplay between mental and physical health I actually think mentally probably takes more of a priority than the physical state because the physical state can take a long time to achieve but I think mental can take an even longer time to achieve and I think when I feel mentally healthy then everything kind of falls into place whereas it's not always the case if I'm physically healthy it doesn't always mean that I'll be mentally healthy so the mental health always takes like precedence for me, anyway. Okay, we're ready to go to the gym. Mario, are you ready to go to the gym? You don't look ready. because got back from Australia massively jet lagged and just didn't, I don't know, just didn't feel like that up for it to be honest. So yeah, I'm just going to start with a full body workout, get everything moving again and just feel active again. It's just a little bit of fun. spicy. So this makes me sound more macho than I am but it's not spicy at all. <laughs> and my beloved kombucha. Do I fancy passion fruit? Go on then. I just kind of make choices that you know they work for me and I feel full and that's kind of like the most important thing for me. I don't, I don't, I don't want to worry so much about like exactly how nutritious something is all the time. I needed something really quick so this is what I'm gonna have for lunch. I mean, it is nice to have nutrient dense food often, but for me to have something that's perfect every single meal, just, it doesn't work. In the end, that would make me like deviate off feeling happy and me feeling like I can get on with life. But I actually have a life to live. Like I have loads of stuff that I love to do and lots of work and, and I want to do that. Yeah, basically one of the things that we're trying to do is figure out whether we should go back to Australia because just for a month in March probably because I don't want to admit it but I think the sun really affects me like even even when it's sunny here like I'm just a different person I don't think that I could ever live in Australia because it's very far and I love my family too much but we could do like a two month thing where every we go year. every year yeah so we're looking into an Airbnb right now yeah. and try and get some cheap flights not too cheap because <laughs> not the, too flight cheap. Is, the flight is difficult it's a long it flight is. choose a film that you're gonna like I watched Chef and I felt great watching Chef oh yeah that do is... not watch Castaway don't watch that film not on a plane watch it any other time just not on a plane <laughs> same with that one with Idris Elba and Kate Kate Winslet. Oh yeah. Again, don't watch it. But I feel like again, one... Lost. Great series. Don't watch it on a plane. I feel like the Idris Elba one is a happy one in the end. Then they like. What if you still ruin it for me? Well, I don't know. It's a guy and a girl. I feel like they're always going to turn out. Make love on a mountain and just. You know. <laughs> what is that? Your happy ending? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, how long is this guy's legs? But yeah, I feel like it's a sign when you get really excited that you're going back to somewhere. Hello, 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 governor. You all right? It's cold. I've got to say, Mario, your dashboard is not camera 
um, friendly. camera friendly. It's what I would call camera shy. Is this look one? This is look one. Yeah. They're actually just shooting from like there up, so it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing. But I just, I just yeah, love yeah. the whole like look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I have like a million different outfits, which I'm excited to try. And I'm probably like way more lip colours than I can ever imagine. <laughs> Joey, pass me over the coffee. <laughs> that is the look, though, isn't it? Okay, so. I don't even know what time it is, we've been going for a pretty long time and it's been a really fun day. We've got another shoot tomorrow. We're basically shooting this thing for a campaign for a brand called We Shop. Um, so the guys are really cool, like they're really friendly. It's really, even though there are loads of people, like I was really intimidated when I got in because I was like, it's kind of, I don't know. I was just, I was in my bikini and that was like, everyone else is fully dressed. It's winter in London people. Um, but actually the people are really cool, like they're really chill. I'm excited to see what we get tomorrow. I feel like the second day will always be like the best day, you know, because everyone's kind of gelled. It'll be really fun. Alright, so every day, or most days, I like to upload an Instagram video where I'm doing like, uh, showing a workout or something. And the daily struggle we have is music. Every day. Every day. We We're on Spotify at the moment looking for music and the, the trouble is, I get very I get very distracted because I'll hear something and it's not going to go with the video, but I'm down into it. Swimming in the pool, you're a fool. Yeah, I ended up not going with the same song again. I'm literally obsessed with this show. It makes me feel so good. Smiling. <laughs> we're always watching it and we always smile. It's one of those things that you like. Broccoli. You are awful. We are now gonna make some dinner together. Me and Mario never cook together. It's usually one or the other, and it's usually Mario. <laughs> We haven't been able to spend like a huge amount of downtime together at the moment. It's just been more like work and work Mario is not the same as playful boyfriend Mario. Yes, and I'm is. the same I'm the same as well though. Work Natasha is not the same as playful Natasha. Work Natasha is a real beach. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> to let you guys know that this video is coming to an end. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. I'll see you next time. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time where we will be in Kenya. <laughs> okay, bye.